Okay, everybody, just wanted to make a quick video about the Allen & Heath QU series of products. Um, I know it's been out for a little bit of a while, and I've had it for quite a bit, and I love it, love the way it works. I use it for uh, Finale, Cubase, use it for a lot of different things. The reason why I'm making this video is because of the new ASIO software that was just developed by them. Um, at the time I'm making this video, it's it's pretty much new for Windows computers. So uh, go to the Allen & Heath website and you know click on products, click on the QU products, and it will come up and then go over to the software. And you'll see that there are all the different firmwares for your particular mixer interface. Uh, right now, I'm more concerned about this here, the Windows ASIO WDM driver. Click down on it and you have this new driver that's here i honestly don't even know which one i had before but if you were like me and you had the older as your drivers it just acted a little bit weird with other programs finale it worked fine cubase uh, is my daw that i use worked fine but when it came to doing things like obs or zoom or or any sort of other devices um or, or software it just worked kind of wanky and you had to do virtual cables and do a lot of uh, different things to go around and, and make it work. Well, that's not the case anymore with this new driver. So just a, a quick word of advice when you're downloading the driver, and it does say it on the Allen & Heath website, I didn't do it and it messed me up. I really suggest that you take off or you sub suspend your virus software, uh, at least just to install it. So here's what happened to me. When I downloaded the driver, went to install it, it looked like it installed, asked for a reboot. I rebooted my computer. When my computer rebooted, restarted, I got a message from Norton. Norton is my virus uh, software. Norton said it blocked something from Allen and Heath, and it was a long type of thing. I don't, not, I'm assuming it was blocking the driver for some reason, thinking it was attacking my computer. So what I ended up doing was I uninstalled the new driver that I got here, the 4.86.0, restarted my computer, paused my Norton software, or suspended it, whatever the vernacular is for the software you have, installed the new driver again, try to reinstall it, and it worked fine. I didn't have to reboot my computer, didn't have to do anything. So it, it ended up working out uh, really well once I suspended uh, the virus software started back up it was fine okay so let's assume that you've downloaded the new driver you've installed it the right way all right so now let's go to your sound settings just click on the windows icon click on type sound sound settings should come up okay so now we're on this page and you'll hear that now uh it's set up qu16 stereo one and i'm not sure if you can hear that but uh you know, you'll, you have sound coming out. You see the, the meter is going. And it's coming out of my speakers. Great. That's the way it was before. Now, here is the part where stuff changed. The input. Choose your input device. You have to choose the one that says stereo out. I understand. It's an input device. It's being called stereo out. Now, with the new driver, you need to do something else. Let's go over to this video here. And what you have to do is... Click on your channels, go over to your left, right faders, the master, bring that up to Unity and make sure that your gain is set up. I don't know if you can see that. All right. So your gain is okay. Um, compression's happening there, but you can see that the gain is happening. Great. I can probably come down a little bit, but if you go back to the screen, the computer screen, even though I am speaking into the microphone and you see that I'm getting a signal through my channel one um, and I'm speaking into it and my gain is fine, you'll notice that nothing is happening in Windows, right, where it says test your microphone. The next thing you have to do is not only do you need to do your left, right, but you also have to put up your fader. And previously, I know it seems really obvious right now, but previously, in the, the previous drivers, you did not have to do that. It was just dealing with your gain. 
So now you'll see that your meters are going. Of course, your gain is still set, but your fader is now up. And as you can see in Windows, it is now receiving your input. So hopefully this helps. Uh, it took me a little while to figure it all out. Yes, it seems super obvious, and that's the way it's supposed to have been. But previously, um, it was not the, that way. And uh, I'll do a couple of videos with Zoom and with OBS because that's what everyone's using. At the time I'm making this uh, this video, we've all been been having to use that stuff. And with this new uh, ASIO driver, it makes things a lot easier where you don't need virtual cables and you don't need to deal with any of that stuff. Okay, so I hope that this helps with the QU series of mixers. Talk to you soon. Thanks.